for this uh, Coniston Hotel sponsored restricted race and Gibbs Bay has gone into an early lead to Midnight Millie who's just headed in at the first fence so Midnight Millie up the inside Reality Bites wider out the red sleeves and cap Gibbs Bay between horses chased by Omar Moretti wider out in the dark blue and white striped colours Glassy Lawn up the inside Scarlet Peak and Bartizan and finally Panthers Creek but very well grouped as they prepare to jump the second fence, half a dozen lengths covering the nine runners. Reality Bites jumped to the front there. Omar Moretti now settled in second with Scarlet Peak towards the outside as they take this turn. Midnight Millie is next in the field. In fact, Scarlet Peak is out the tail, similar colours by Robin's Legend is the one that's front rank. On the left as we look, the green and blue check. So it's Robin's Legend on the outside of Reality Bites with Omar Moretti between horses. And uh, they race between fences two and three. Bartizan held up. Gibbs Bay's lost an early position. A glassy lawn and Scarlet Peak out the back along with Panthers Creek. A crossover fence four, no change in the order. A reality bites. The red sleeves on the inside. Gibbs Bay back up sides again towards the outside with Robin's legend in the headgear between horses. Being chased by Midnight Millie. Omar Moretti, the favourite, on the inside, the blue and white stripe to the red cap. Fairly handy. Being chased by Panthers Creek in the change of colours. And then Bartizan towards the back. Still glassy lawn and Scarlet P is last of all. Racing towards the sixth fence and Reality Bites leading by just over a length to Robin's Legend in second, Omar Moretti's in third, Gibbs Bay's in fourth place, Midnight Millie jumped that one rather better and uh, then they're being tracked by Bartizan, Panthers Creek takes quite a keen hold, Scarlet Peak and Glassy Lawn is just outpaced at the back. So the open ditch for the first time, and they all jumped it okay, Glassy Lawn a little bit slow. Reality Bites to Robin's Legend and Midnight Millie, Omar Moretti on the inside, Scarlet Peak creeping a little bit closer, and Panthers Creek also in that leading cluster of six. Gibbs Bay continues to go much wider than the others and Bartizan just lost a, an early place. Panthers Creek didn't jump that too well and Glassy Lawn was pulled up before fence number eight. Making their way towards the turn, towards this fence on the bottom side of the course. And Reality Bites leading Omar Moretti and Robin's Legend. Scarlet Peak, the Beedale winner up on the inside. Panthers Creek just gone past that one as they're about to jump this fence at the bottom of the course. Gibbs Bay just lost a little bit of ground once more. And Scarlet Peak and then uh, Midnight Millie is struggling now and very quickly tailing herself off from the others. Bartizan just in front of that. I think Midnight Millie has been pulled up. So down to seven as they're about to jump the tenth fence. Reality Bites continues to make the running and leading by just over one length to Robin's Legend in second. Omar Moretti continues to travel the shortest way. Panthers Creek not that far away. Gibbs Bay the grey widest of all. Bartizan at the back of the field and Scarlet Peak is last of all. So they jump this next one. Fence number 11. And, uh, oh, and Bartizan ran right down the fence there, ran to its right and is now tailing off and is struggling. So the others coming past us and still being taken along by Reality Bites with Robin's Legend giving chase. Omar Moretti, the favourite, now coming alongside. Looks to be travelling fairly smoothly for Dale Peters. Reality Bites then from Omar Moretti, then Robin's Legend with Gibbs Bay White, Scarlet Peak and Panthers Creek at the back of the field. 
and Bartizan has been pulled up. So Alex Edwards aboard Reality Bikes alongside Dale Peters and Omar Moretti and they're being chased then by Robin's legend in third place. Scarlet Peak travelling very well under Joe Wright just behind those. Panthers Creek is now off the bit having been a strong traveller early on and then Gibbs Bay. The open ditch for the final time. Reality Bites jumped it rather better than Omar Moretti, but there wasn't that much between them in truth. Gibbs Bay just blundered at the tail of the field. Heading towards the uh, fourth from the finish, and it's Omar Moretti with Scarlet Peak giving chase. Reality Bites towards the outside, and then comes Robin Le Robin's Legend under Jack Teal. Panthers Creek and Gibbs Bay are struggling now, so they're Reaching the turn, which will take them to the third last fence, and they have about five or six furlongs to run from here. Now Omar Moretti, the favourite, strikes the front, leads by a length and a half, but Scarlet Peak travels well for Joe Wright, just has a look behind him to see how the others are going. So three out, Omar Moretti, a length and a half, two lengths maybe Scarlet Peak, and the gap between the second and the third is widening markedly because Robin's legend is now struggling back in third and Reality Bites is also tailing off and Gibbs Bay is going to be pulled up. They've gone fairly hard early on here and it's been quite attritional, there's just two really in it. It's Omar Moretti and Scarlet Peak, they come to two out. Omar Moretti, about two lengths to Scarlet Peak in second. Robin's legend is plugging all in third and they're the only three still going. One more fence left to jump here, two furlongs or so left to travel. Omar Moretti and Dale Peters, well he fell at the last here at the Middleton meeting, went in front, Scarlet Peak is now off the bit and one pace in second. Here's the final fence, Omar Moretti, hold your breath, he's over it safely, Omar Moretti, and leads by five or six lengths, Scarlet Peak can do no more in second as they come up the run in here. Omar Moretti runs out a ready winner handily placed for most of the race, took it up three out, one unchallenged. Omar Moretti the winner, Scarlet Peak in second, and Robin's legend will come home in third. Have you got to warm that again? To warm that one? For sure. <laughs>